Hi there, I'm Dark Shades, aka Black Bright News, aka Myrna Loy. Now, I'm going to talk about a very controversial subject, but I know it's true. You'll get black guys denying it left, right, and centre, but I've witnessed it first hand. Now, you know, you get a lot of black guys saying, oh, why aren't you natural? They moan about our wigs, they moan about our weaves, they moan about our makeup, they moan about our figures, they moan about this, they moan about that. And yet, you go out there natural and see if any one of them comes and approaches you. The only way a black, I'm talking about black Brits now, and forget about other parts of the world because it doesn't apply in other parts of the world, but it definitely applies with black Brits, the majority of black Brits. Not all, because there's always sections to the rule. But you go out there, I've, I've tested it. You know what? Sometimes I wear wigs, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I go natural and you'll see some of my videos, I've got my natural hair under dark shades, right? And you know, I sport that Wakanda look, you know, that really, really, not quite shaved head, but you know, it's it does look like that. Now, if I go out, suppose I go to out in a dance then or to another social event, and I go out without my wig, without my well, I always wear makeup, but without my uh, but without my wig then, that's alone enough to be annihilated, to be disregarded, <laughs> to be shoved on one side, and it's amazing because you're the same person now i'll go back the next week and you know i go to this place where you get regulars it's the same people month in month out go there the next week and i'll have on my wig and someone will say boy you're beautiful how come i've never seen you here before you know i'm oh, i couldn't miss somebody like you i feel like saying i was here last time you just didn't see me because i didn't have a wig on my point is, is that, you know, it's, it's like indoctrination. They, you don't even realise that you don't like the natural look. It's even like, you know, I see rusters now. Well, some call them cosmetic dreads, whatever they are, but, you know, assuming that they're rusters and, you know, them do the old eight school and green and ting, right? So you see them, and if they're not with a white woman, they're with some glamorous um, black woman. And the poor rusta women with their head wrapped and looking all kind of cool and airy, they get cast to one side. Or they're the ones they leave at home, the reliable ones to cook and clean, and they're out there looking for the westernised ones. So what's all that about? You know what I mean? I don't understand it. You claim, you know, when Wakanda came out, everybody was like, oh, yeah, Wakanda and natural and blah, blah, blah. Now, they've got a Wakanda um, dance coming up at the Royal Lounge on the 21st of June, July, actually. And I swear, I don't give a, I don't give a duck's ear. I'm going to go bald. I'm going to, well, you know, I do my little shave here and I have my little high top and, you know, my little warrior outfit. And I'm an observer, so I watch behaviours and I watch how people are. And it's amazing because you might get the odd one or two that might not be, um, that might find you still attractive, depending on how you put your face and blah, blah, blah. But the majority of them will still go for the one with the weaves, with the makeup, with the nails, with everything they cuss out in the next minute. Oh, you see them are weaves, they're not natural. I think what happens sometimes is that they really want to believe that all that hair and all that nails and all those eyelashes, <laughs> they really want to believe that it's real because in their mind, they're thinking of a black white woman. So they think that that's real. And then when they're with the woman and, you know, after a couple of weeks or whatever it is, it takes for her to feel comfortable enough to take her wig off. It's the shock. Oh, my God. Oh, what is? What have I got here? Kind of thing. You know, I mean, the wig come off, the eyelashes come off, the mere cup come off. And then they're saying, oh, she's a fraud. <laughs> and, yeah, 
<laughs> and yet, if you go down there with your violin and, you know, you, well, I don't wear much makeup anyway, but, but if you go down there with normal, them now look poor. They, they don't want to know. So, you know, there's something going on there. I'm not quite sure what it is. It must have something to do with this, you know, um, westernized concept and this indoctrination on what is beautiful. Now, you have to know that beauty is not visual. It really isn't. And that's why a lot of the less prettier ones will attract a certain type because that guy has got to know them over time might have got to know them at work might have got to know them through friends and so they've established a friendship and it's got beyond the appearance and a lot of times that's what happens it gets beyond the appearance and you know you still find those same guys going out trying to try try their luck with somebody a bit more westernized while they've got the other one at home but the fact of the matter is they need to be satisfied and know that appearances are so superficial they don't mean squat so you know be a bit more open-minded black british men that's all i've got to say bye